I spent 10 years in the Navy. And uh, I went home <clears throat> after the war. And I said, that's it. I'm just going to settle down and, you know, get my marriage, all that. And I started going to, my mother said after a couple of weeks, well, you know. And I said, oh yes, I've got to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> so I started just going down there. And there's all these people going into Winchester repeating arms and the New Haven clock shop and the do this and do that. And I couldn't see myself doing that at all. And I'd take my lunch and go down to a movie or, or see the, you know, go down and, and by the park and feed the birds. And one day I said, ah, that's it. I, I don't know anything else except the Navy. I said, what the hell, I'll go back and do my other 10 years and get a pension. Mm -hmm. At least I'll have something. And I went home one day and I was just about ready to tell my mom, Mom, I'm leaving. And she looked at me and said, Ernie, what's the matter? And I said, uh, she said, you know something? Have you ever thought of becoming an actor? She says, you always like to make a damn fool of yourself in front of people. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> at least you can make money. And I, and I, <laughs> there was this light up there and I, I looked up and I saw this light and I said, Mom, that's what I'm going to be. Yeah. And ten years later, Grace Kelly's had me that thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ten yeah. years later, I mean, it's impossible. Well, how about your first audition, though? Your audition. Your first audition. Oh, the first uh. audition. <laughs> I went up to looking for a job, and they, they said, they're, they're, they're going to shoot a picture, and maybe they're casting over there. So, okay, I'll go up there. So I went up there, and knocked on the door, and I walked in, and there's this big old gal sitting there. I said, yes. I said, I understand you're shooting a picture. I said, yes. I said, do you think there'd be a part for me? Just a minute. So out comes this fellow with a big accent. And he said, yeah, yeah. He said, you, you come tomorrow. He says, I, 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 I give you a screen test. Well, God almighty. Screen test. Man, I was walking 10 feet off the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. Ten, uh, just a screen test. Wow. So the next morning I go, and I open up this door, and there's about 714 people ahead of me. <laughs> and this guy looked up from the camera and he said, you, you come back two, three hours, he said, I fix you up. So now I had a dime in my pocket to go back on the, on the subway. Where are you gonna go with a dime in your pocket? I couldn't even spend it because I, the only way to get home. So I walked and walked and finally I saw St. Patrick's Cathedral on Fifth Avenue and I said, well, I'm a lousy Catholic, but I said, what the hell, I'll take a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked in. That's an oxymoron. Yeah, you know. you know. <laughs> I walked in and, uh, and there's the man standing there, you know, and I said, hey, I'm a terrible Catholic, but I said, uh, please, you know, help me. Okay. I go back. I'm the very last man to be taken in. Yeah, the fellow says, all right, just sit on a, store, on a stool over there. He said, just say one word. He said, take your picture. Roll the camera. I said, sir, what do you want me to say? Well, he just said, say the word shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? And he said, no, oh, no, no. He said, when you say the word shit, it, it makes you smile. You got good smiles. You say, shit. <laughs> I got the part. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was thinking to myself, me, I, what, what happened in that church? Yeah. 